Now, creating interactive 3D elements is one thing, but sometimes you just want a normal GUI or a graphical user interface. And Roblox actually provides a standard one, which is a 2D graphical interface that sits in front of you while you interact with the world and never moves, like the chat, for example, on the top left, or the settings when you hit escape. And you can do that yourself for the player by going to the starter GUI, hit the plus, and put screen GUI. And that'll give you basic UI elements that you can add from the UI. And you see that tab that appears? We're going to do the basic one. We're going to do a text button and just put it right in the middle of the screen. So you can't possibly miss it. Make it really big so it's easy to click on. Double click and it allows you to edit. What we're trying to get at is the, the label. So we'll say click mer and click out of it or hit enter and you're good to go. We're just going to click on the local script because the local script runs on the player's machine. And we want this button to run on the player's machine. And this UI is what they see. So we're going to go script.parent, which again, script refers to this local script. The parent of the local script is text button. So we'll get a reference to that just so it's easier to see, text button. And when you want to listen to mouse events and text buttons, it's very similar to parts where you go to mouse button click one, which in our case would be left click. It has a connect method that's looking for some type of callback or function that you define so they can say, hey dude, just wanna let you know the user clicked. And if the user clicks a bunch of times, your function's called every single time. So we'll go to function, screen, GUI, button clicked, bruh. Hey. So we're gonna take this function and put it in there. We're not gonna invoke it, we're just putting the function in there as the first and only parameter connect. So then when you play here, and again, it doesn't matter where you play here for screen GUIs, because screen GUIs will always stay around, like the chat, the settings, and tick. But you can see our button now. And if you hover over it, it shows that it's selectable, just like any other screen UI. If you hover over and click, you'll see that it got your click. And you can click a bunch of times and see that that callback handler was called many, many times.